Caitlin, it's good to see you again. Always good to see you. Um, how are you doing, by the way? Uh, um, all things considered, I'm I'm doing okay. I didn't. Uh, I don't love the fact that you guys decided to air this season. Just kidding. It, it's fun to relive it, and uh, I'm I'm looking at all the positives. Now the touchy part of this, because obviously I know where things stand now. Um, but first, <laughs> you said goodbye to Nick, mm -hmm. and you chose Sean. Mm -hmm. Talk about those two decisions. A big part of why I was so sure of Sean at the end was because I had taken all the relationships to the necessary point I needed to, to understand how I truly felt. And I don't know if I've ever said this out loud, but the intimate moment with Nick was kind of the moment where I felt wrong and thought, actually, my feelings for Sean are much stronger. So I'm like, thank God I did that because that's what opened my eyes and gave me clarity. You were engaged. You guys were living together for quite some time. It yeah. didn't work out. Um, mm -hmm. How difficult were those days? Over, I mean, three and a half years is a long time, yeah. you know, to be with somebody. So I don't consider it like really a failed relationship. We tried really hard. And um, at the end of the day, it felt like it just started off on the wrong foot and we couldn't get past certain things. And when it comes to thinking about your forever, it's, you have to um, either move past that or, or break up. And that's kind of where, where the crossroads came to. The good news, Caitlin, it all ends well. You have found love and you found love with uh, one of our favorites from the Bachelor family, Jason Tardik and you are madly <laughs> in love and together. And so let's, let's bring him in. <laughs> let's bring him in. Who would have thought? Who, Who would have thought? thought? I didn't. Even watching him on my television, I wouldn't have thought. I was like, man, that guy needs to be The Bachelor. <laughs> uh, for those that don't know, Jason, of course, uh, we know and love from Becca's season of The Bachelorette. How did you guys meet? How did this happen? <laughs> I'll tell you, it was not planned. <laughs> Jason came on the podcast, and I didn't actually realize how in instantaneous this, the connection was. It was people that listened to the podcast who... They were like, you know, we haven't seen Caitlin and Sean post in a while. Um, but did you hear the chemistry between Caitlin and Jason <laughs> on her podcast? I was crushing pretty quickly, actually. So I had left the podcast, funny enough, and I turned the corner, called my best buddy, and he says to me, uh, so how'd it go? I know you're excited for it. And I go, yeah, just met my future wife, you know? And I was, I was kind of joking around, but nice. the banter, it was like, yeah, you know, <laughs> and then we kind of just started talking as friends and I friend zoned him hard for a long time. Oh, and, yeah. <laughs> and then he pushed through. Jay, have you ever watched Caitlyn's season of The Bachelorette? I have never watched Caitlyn's <laughs> season. No, I And haven't. that's why we're still happy, happily <laughs> together. <laughs> well, luckily, we put it into this nice bite-sized show we're doing tonight. So you can just watch this. You know, what's interesting is like without this experience, without this franchise, without any of this, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't live in the same house. We wouldn't have two beautiful golden retrievers that we rescued. Like this narrative would have never come together yeah, if we so didn't both experience all that. So it's um, it's part of the journey and uh, here we are. By the way, I know you mentioned about uh, meeting your future wife. You know, I'm an ordained minister. Oh, are you? Oh I'm, my gosh, have... don't even do this. My stomach just sank because I was like, wait, <laughs> is this happening right now? Yes, this is. Oh, is that... feeling... <laughs> oh, those are my ear pods. <laughs> oh my gosh, I felt his pocket, and I thought I felt a ring box, and it was his ear pods. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you again. I I love, here, but, but Chris, you'll be called. I love that we just zinged her and didn't even try to. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's such a Caitlin Unbelievable. thing. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. In all seriousness, I do have a very... Very real question for you, Caitlin. Okay. And this is a question I am so excited to ask you because, well, your life is about to change. What? And I'm not joking. Do you know about that? Mm -hmm. I just got goosebumps. Caitlin, will you be on the next season of Dancing with the Stars? <gasps> I'm dead serious. Okay, play it cool, Caitlin, play it cool. Are you serious? Chris. Oh my I'm shaking. God. Oh my 
my gosh! Chris, I'm gonna cry. Oh my, I feel like this is back to the moment. Let's go! I feel like this is back to the moment where you told me I was the Bachelorette. And I'm like, that is the last thing I thought in the world you were gonna say. I thought you were gonna ask me to take over your job. I, I don't know, that was like the last thing. I have two kids I have to put through college. I'm not done yet. Is that a yes? Because I need a yes or no. 